This is the guitar, the git fiddle, the mighty axe. Let's check out all the parts of the guitar so we can understand how it works. The guitar has a body, a neck, and a head, or headstock. It reminds me of a giraffe because it has such a long neck. The guitar has six strings. We can assign a number to each of them by starting on the thinnest string and counting all the way to the thickest string. These strings also have letter notes. From left to right they are E A D G B E Here's a funny way of remembering the letter notes from low to high. Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. Yee, yikes. You may have also noticed that there are two E strings. The thick one is called the low E string. And the thin one is called the high E string. The guitar strings start at the bridge and travel down the neck to the nut. From there, they all go to their own tuning pegs. This helps adjust the pitch of each string. Your guitar strings will get tight and loose throughout the course of the day due to changes in temperature and humidity. This causes the strings to go out of tune, so we'll have to tune our guitar every now and then. We'll get into that later. The metal bars that divide the neck of the guitar are called the frets. A guitar will have between 15 to 22 frets. We will be focusing mostly on the first three, which we call first position. Frets that are found closer to the headstock are lower notes, and as you move closer to the body, the notes get higher and higher. You are almost ready to rock out. Let's learn a little bit more. <laughs> 